Hello. One of the things I wanted to do before I head off on my trip later today was um, make some Easter cards for some ladies from my church. I wanted to use these Rosa Gallery paints from the Romantic set, which I swatched out and reviewed yesterday. This morning I'm just going to paint out my swatch card that came with the paint set and then I'm going to make some really simple watercolour cards. Oh my goodness, my first impression from swatching these out again this morning is just how lovely they are. I think I'm going to really enjoy these and I just love this colour selection as well. It's just really cheerful. I do like my blues and turquoises and pinks, so there's, there's a good choice in there. Okay. So I'm slightly short on time and what I thought I would do is use a die cutter. This is a Sizzix, it's the lovable bunny die. And if you're not familiar with dies, then they are like steel cutting blades embedded in foam, which are then like squeezed through rollers and cut out this rabbit shape. So I'm just gonna put some watercolor shapes and washes down on the paper. I'm going to experiment slightly. Um, for the first one, I'll try like a wet on wet, almost like a floral scene. Well, kind of very impressionistic -y florals. But I'm wondering if the dispersion might almost be too high of these paints. Wow, they really do move. So the pink is the magenta rose and this is the lavender which has got white pigment in it, but it still moves really well. And then this is royal blue, which is a slightly more sluggish one. Mind you, the magenta rose isn't moving as quickly now. I think it's just that the water's dried out more. I think I'll try one now just with wet on dry. Oh my gosh, so, so pigmented.
Actually, these look more like dandelions. <laughs> Okay, so I just left these to dry a bit. I just ran around the house and watered all the plants because while well, my adult kids are coming, are taking it in turns to come home and look after the dog. I'm not so sure they'll look after the house plants. Okay, pop some leaves in now. Okay, these are finely dried and I've just put the names on the little swatch sheet. I think at some point I'm going to do a like colour wheel and just with the cadmium yellow light, the magenta rose and the ultramarine. They're all single pigment colours and they're all such gorgeous paints, I'm interested to see the colour mixing that I can do from those. So I was very productive while the flowers were drying. I managed to clean out the microwave and I've chopped my favourite pillow in half and sewn it up and made a new pillowcase for it now. So I think I could quite comfortably sleep on airport floors and anywhere now. I've got my, my best pillow. Right, I'm gonna get the die cutting machine out now and see how these turn out. So I've got an old Sizzix big shot machine. It might be that I need to add in extra areas of painting once I see how these cut out. So I've got my flowers face down onto the die and then I sandwich it and roll it through. So these were the flowers I didn't particularly like, but it turned out quite nice on the rabbit. Maybe put a little bit of detail in there. All right, to keep going with those.
<laughs> I totally missed out my lavender on that one. <laughs> I can't use this one because I underestimated the size of the rabbits. That's fine. So I've got my four bunnies for my card and I'm just gonna fill in a couple of the gaps now. Okay, so I filled in the um, blank bits on the bunnies and all I'm doing now is just using foam pads to stick them down. I'm going to keep these cards pretty simple because I'm running out of time to do other stuff now. And then I'm just going to put a little bow on as well. And I like this Beacons 3-in-1 craft glue. It dries so fast. It's almost like kind of cold hot glue, if that makes sense. Um, there, so I'll, I'll do the same for the rest now. And there are my Easter cards. I was getting a bit worried at one point uh, with the flowers, but I actually think they turned out quite cute. Right, I am actually off to pack now. Thanks ever so much for watching. Bye.